and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the brand new content. We got some heavyweights. Typically, like I tell you guys, there's drops I'm, I'm happy for during the week, and there's drops I'm not happy for. This is one of them that I typically do like. Now, flashbacks, I'm not typically a fan of. I get excited for the name of the cards, and then I'm not excited about the card stats. Like, Shady McCoy got excited, saw his stats, not so excited anymore. Heavyweights, though, are typically, they fill in positions that I kind of need on my team that otherwise I don't typically have. So, like, they fill guys for me like linemen, fullback, defensive linemen. They, do, they, they fill in a lot of things that typically I would think wouldn't, be a guy that I wouldn't I was on a position that I typically like to buy so heavyweights give me an ability to get them for cheap because heavyweights flashbacks veterans they always go for cheap because there's so many there's such an influx in the game of them that you're always gonna be able to find a lot so like I said flashbacks they have a lot of them they're cheap but I don't like them veterans same thing now heavyweights are cool typically like I said I picked up Lane Johnson I picked up Ali Marpet at one point I have a, I don't know if it was Demar Dotson I forget who my right tackles it was Joe Staley I had I like the defensive tackles. There's always something I like out of these promos. Now, guys, before we get into the content, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hey, give me a big thumbs up, guys. It's a content video. Xerxes is gone for the week, so you got to come to me, I think. Xerxes has been out on vacation. So, while he's gone, guys, I'm taking over. So, go down below. Give me a big thumbs up if you're watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit the sub button. Let's get this video to 100 likes, boys. We're almost at 8K subs, so make sure to hit the sub button. Turn on the noti bell. And comment down below what you think of these new heavyweight cards. I don't exactly know who they are because Mutt Leaks did tweet them out, but I'm not the best, which don't shame me for lineman numbers. Like it was like a Buccaneers guy, like 60 something. I don't really know who it was, but obviously they'll be in the game pretty soon. So then we'll see them guys. And quick little tip before we get into the video, guys, go over to challenges. Make sure that you're playing your team of the week challenges and your Mutt 10 challenges. So Mutt 10 drops on Friday and team of the week just dropped uh, yesterday. Make sure you're playing your solo challenges because team of the week solo challenges are important. All you need is... I believe, let's see, to get the token, I believe you only need like one star. Where is it? Does it matter which one you play? No, it doesn't matter. I don't know why it's not showing me the stars, I mean, um, the tokens here, but you do get a free token, so make sure you're playing it. You don't want to miss out on your tokens, guys. At the end of the year, we do get a free team of the year player that's usually auctionable, so make sure you're playing them so you don't miss out on a great chance to get a token and get a free team of the year player 17 weeks down the line. I know it's a while, guys, but you're going to regret it when you come back to Madden for team of the year and you don't have that free player. And it typically, like, let's say you take a break of Madden, at least play your solos. It takes like five minutes. You come back later in the year, you get a free team of the year. It can really kickstart your team again later in the year. But guys, let's go to the store. Let's see if they've increased the um, the price of these packs yet. Because I feel like they should be going up as cards get higher overalls. So they're still it's still 1780, 1780 for a heavyweight pack. I don't know if these are going to be 88 overalls or 89. I'm probably 88s. I don't know who they are. Let's go over to the auction block to check them out. Now, this typically takes some time. That's why I started the video a little bit later today. Because it typically takes time for them to actually post and people to pull them. Go to heavyweights and new. If not, I'll take you guys over to Twitter to show you guys what I'm seeing over there. Let's see. Newest heavyweights. Let's see. I believe they should be an 88 overall because they are the new ones. I hope they're not dropping anything worse. Let's see. Nothing so far. But guys, I believe they're going to be 88 overalls. Uh, these should be good. If, I, I want to say it was the Mar Dotson. It was a Buccaneers tackle, the Mar Dotson, I believe, which would be an awesome right tackle, especially with the state of our tackles right now. Typically, not everyone can afford Dan Diodorf. And if you don't have him, you probably have for tackles either Tyron Smith or you have the um, Lane Johnson. Lane Johnson's pretty good. He's not he's nothing special in any category, but he's well-rounded, which is pretty big for alignment, especially on tackles. Like I like my tackles so it's a block and uh, run block, pass block and run block. So having a tackle that could do both is definitely awesome. And Lane Johnson does come with some speed. Now, if my memory is correct, DeMar Dotson typically is a run blocking tackle, which is still huge. I do like to do a lot of runs. If you're a stretch guy, a pitch guy, anything, there we go. DeMar Dotson, he's up. 88 overall right tackle. I was right about that, okay? And you cannot run block. I don't know if I'm bugging. I thought last year his like most feared card or whatever was a run blocking tackle, but whatever. He is a heavy pass block. Let's compare him to my Lane Johnson. So Lane Johnson's more well-rounded. So it all comes down to what you prefer. So he's got 82 strength, 87 awareness, 87 pass blocking, 88 pass block power, 87 pass block footwork, 71 run blocking, 72 run blocking power, and 67 run blocking footwork. So he is a horrible run blocker. So I probably won't be picking this card up. But like I said, I'd rather have a guy that if I run stretch, I run inside zone, I run pitch, my tackle can rank the block, and he can also pass block. 
And Demar Dotson, the only way you get him to be much better than Lane Johnson would be to chem him up and maybe power him up and get him to his run blocking tier uh, threshold one, obviously, which would be above 90, which he can hit pretty easily. But at the same time, that run blocking is atrocious. You won't be able to run to the right side with him. He'll kill your whole run game to the right side. Even on inside zone, he might get block shedded instantly. And like, even if it's a run to the other side, you'll probably get block shedded instantly on run blocks. You probably can't hold them. So I think that's going to be that kind of like a... It'll be a liability on offense when it comes to run block. So I won't be picking him up. Let's see what his lead block and stuff are. It doesn't really typically matter for tackles, depending on what you do. I don't know if some pitch plays do involve the right tackle coming off. I don't think so. He's at 80 impact blocking, so Lane Johnson beats him there. And let's see what his lead blocking is and his awareness. His lead blocking is... 85 which ties with lane johnson now let's see his awareness oh it's 87 right there my bad so i think lane johnson's a better tackle in my opinion lane john demar dotson's kind of a little underwhelming um kind of expected you know with being a new heavyweight card i mean heavyweights and flashbacks let me down they let me down all the time heavyweights just have more potential for to be a player on my team because they're big boys you know they're bigger guys and you can always use some guy in the trenches some guy on the line some guy on the d-line you can always use those kind of guys but Demar Dotson, a little underwhelming in my opinion. Now, let's wait for this next guy to come up. I do not believe he's an 86 to 87, but I will check just in case. Typically, I believe they release the same overalls. I do not see anything new here. I believe he's an 88. He should be. I don't know who the new guy was, though. Let me go head over to Twitter real quick. Okay, guys, so the next one is up. It is Jerry Hughes, 88 overall right in for the Buffalo Bills. His salary cap hits 33. I don't play salary cap, so I just say it for other people who do. I do not. He just got posted right now. Let's see how this card is. He's got 78 speed, 83 excel, 72 strength, 80 tackle, 87 play rec, 88 block shedding, 70 power moves, 90 finesse moves. So this card seemed underwhelming at first, but actually, if you if you uh, thresh chem this guy up, he could probably have above 90 block shedding. He already has above 90 uh, pass off and out finesse move, and you can maybe get his play rec up to a 90. So if you can get his play rec up to a 90, his block shedding to a 90, and his finesse move to a 90. This card as a whole might actually be a beast. Let's compare him to, we're comparing him to Aaron Donald here. Better block shot than Donald, better finesse move than Donald, better speed than Donald. Now, the big difference here, in my opinion, is strength. The strength, the play rec, which I actually don't think you can get the play rec up, because if you do get block shutting up, play rec won't be in that same chem. So, Donald gets the play wrecking threshold. He gets the strength threshold. He's almost as fast. He already, he will get the, he'll hit the power move threshold. So, in my opinion, I think Donald's a better option. Obviously, Donald's going to go for quite a bit more. But Jerry Hughes isn't anything special. His strength is killer, too. So I don't know how much strength really factors into everything, but 90 strength is big. I don't know if that's for blowing things up. Let's see what their impact blocking is for blowing things up. I could be wrong, but I think impact blocking for linemen affects how they blow up uh, lead blocks and stuff. Impact blocking 84 versus 78. So yeah, that I, that doesn't really hit it for me either. Pursuit doesn't entirely matter. Let's see what their other underlying stats are. Hit power 75. I do care about hit power because I typically do block shed and hit stick the running back. So that is important. I mean, nothing else that I can really see here that stands out for Jerry Hughes that would make him better. But as a whole, yeah, Jerry Hughes is a little underwhelming. He has good stats. So for a, budget, a more budget version of Aaron Donald, he's not bad. That strength's just killer. If he's going to have a strength like that, he should at least have like an 83 speed. Give Jerry Hughes an 83 speed, and then I could kind of outweigh the strength. But the strength is huge. They're close enough in speed for it not really to matter. And that play rec. He hits the play rec threshold, the power move threshold, and he hits the strength threshold. So that alone kind of gives me, and his block shedding could get there too if you use Matt, uh, John Madden pass uh, pass rushing and you use the proper cams like pass rushing on him. So for that alone, I'm going to be out on Jerry Hughes. Aaron Donald's still very expensive, but he's coming down in price. So it's not like he's too far-fetched. Like if he went for 400k and Jerry Hughes went for 120, I'd be like, all right, I can't really justify that. But he does go for only like 180 to 200k consistently. So as a whole, I'm gonna probably taking Aaron Donald over him. Now guys, not my favorite heavy week, uh, heavyweight week. Jerry Hughes and DeMar Dotson, a little underwhelming. See, now Jerry Hughes isn't too bad, but DeMar Dotson, I would have loved to have picked up a new right tackle, but in comparison to, hey, look, he's already coming down in price already. In comparison to a guy like Lane Johnson, who's going to be way cheaper, well, not way cheaper, but he's going to be cheaper. He's going to be equally as effective, if not better. The meta is just running right now. There's too much running in this game for me to justify picking up a pass only lineman like if he's gonna be pass only right give him at least 90s give him 90 pass block 90 pass block power 90 pass block finesse and give him like an 88 strength you give him all of that and i could look past the run blocking possibly but right now everyone's running stretch pitch inside zone counters everything that you run with tackles tackles are important because if you run inside zone to the right and your right tackle gets block shed instantly easy tackle i see it all the time if that right end can get off on an instant block shed easy tackle or he gets off and then he trails him and he tackles him right from behind with a with a what's it called a shoestring tackle so i can't justify that Especially, I mean, the pass blocking on Lane Johnson is quite a bit lower, but if thresholds work the way they should always work, 
Lane Johnson should not be much worse than the more pass block, and he has a much better run block with better speed, guys. But that is about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content video. And if you have, if you have been enjoying the content video, go down below. Give me a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 100 likes, boys. Comment down below what you think of these heavyweight guys and if you plan to be picking them up. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the sub button, boys. We're grinding to AK. We're almost there. We're very close. Let's make it happen as soon as possible. And don't forget to like. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Probably my only video for the day because I'm kind of busy today with my brother's birthday. So you'll see two videos today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Turn on the noti bell. See you guys in the next video. I'm out. Take care. Peace.